What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another video. Today we are talking about October 2023 sneaker releases, Air Jordan retros, dunks, Nike basketball, you name it, we are talking about it. Hit the like button, let's get into the sneakers you dig. Let's talk about the Nike Dunk Low Smoke Gray, dropping October 3rd for a retail price of 115 bucks. These come in white, light iron ore, gum light brown, and smoke gray as the color scheme. These will come with a tumbled leather upper, mesh tongues, and then you have the branded tongue labels. They feature a white base with a smoke gray suede overlay on the heel tabs, cloth inner lining, and then you have that really nice 3M reflective swoosh. I do like this shoe. The colorway is not bad, perfect for the fall time. Let me know if you guys will be adding this to your collection. Next up, we're going to talk about the Nike Air Max 1 URI dropping October 3rd as well for a retail price of 160 bucks. These released exclusively in Japan back in 2004. Let me know if you guys are excited for these in the fall of 2023. Unlike the original pair, which paid homage to the Aurora Dragons, the J League Football Club, this pair will pay homage more to the jerseys that they wear. Let me know what you guys think about this color combination on this Air Max 1. Pure platinum, white, black, sport red, and summit white is the color scheme. Like most Air Max 1s, these come constructed with a mix of leather and mesh materials, having a black base with gray and white overlays featured on the swoosh laces and midsole you also have red accent throughout the shoe and gold nike tongue branding which is pretty fire i like the embroidery also included on this shoe are you guys a fan of this air max one let me know in the comment section below next let's talk about the new balance 990 v4 dropping october 3rd as well for a retail price of 185 bucks these come in a black and silver color combination feature a black mesh base with suede overlays and an all black color scheme to add some contrast you can see gray on the upper eyelids the end logos as well as the heel tab let me know if you guys are a fan of the 990 v4 very comfortable shoe of course let me know your thoughts in the comments below next we have the nike air max 2 CB94 triple black dropping October 5th for a retail price of 170 bucks. Black and metallic silver is the color scheme. Last showcased in 2020, which I definitely grabbed a pair. Now they're coming back in 2023. Do you see yourself adding this to your collection? You can see it has an all black base design crafted with a mix of mesh leather and new buck materials. I do love the royal accents gracing the air unit and the outsole as well. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this shoe. Like I said, I am and I'm debating on grabbing them. Being that I own a pair, I don't know if I need to double up, but I'm very tempted to with nike basketball for a second on october 6th for a retail price of 110 bucks we got the nike jaw one smoke coming in the black light silver coconut milk and vivid sulfur colors and just like all of the jaw ones these are constructed with a blend of breathable mesh and durable leather you have gray marble accents on the tpu swoosh logos the iconic jaw morant logo gracing the mismatched tongues and insoles i do like the details this color scheme is a little bit better than some of the other ones i do see people grabbing them are you picking them up and adding them to your collection of course give us the feedback in the comment section below and rate these from a one to ten most of the jaws have been hit or miss this one might be a hit but like one of the best ones is coming up a little bit later in this video so stay tuned for that next up let's slide over to adidas with the adidas crazy infinity dropping october 6th for a retail price of 160 bucks these come in core black carbon and cloud white as the color scheme dressed in a breathable black mesh material the upper of the shoe features a distinctive zippered shroud to enhance the futuristic appearance on the lateral side you'll notice the adidas signature three stripes branding i like the deboss feature of it then it's the all all black shoe on top of that so you can match it with anything for the hoopers we can see that this does have some reliable traction with the hair and bone let me know if you guys are excited about this or is it an easy pass next up let's talk about the ambush nike airmore of tempo low in the black and white colorway dropping october 6th for a retail price of 190 dollars crafted with meticulous attention to detail the shoe features a sleek all black new buck upper complemented by mesh tongues and leather air lettering outlined by white i do like this shoe this colorway by far is the better one to me out the two that are releasing we're going to get to the second one in just a second but this black low is much better than i thought i would love to see this in person you have the white accents that are also presented on the swoosh and the ambush lettering on the back as well as on the insole let me know what you guys think about this one rate this colorway from a one to ten and do you like the lows better than the high next up also dropping on october 6th for a retail price of 190 bucks is the second colorway of the ambush nike airmore of temple low 
lilac. You can see these feature lilac, university red, team green, and apple green as the color scheme. As you can see, this has a lilac upper accented by the vibrant green air lettering on the side. Then you have the green rope laces, back heel pull tab, and ambush branding gracefully showcased on the heels. The toe box and heels feature the university red alongside the prominent ambush branding. And on the tongue, as well as having a purple inner lining, which gives it more of a luxurious feel, the rubber sole incorporates the crystal clear full length air zoom unit, which everybody loves about the more of tempos. Let me know what you guys think about both of these and do you see yourself add one or the other or both of them to your collection. Next up on October 7th, we have a new Adidas Simpsons collab covering three different sneaker models. First, we got the Simpsons Adidas Pro model, Pucci dropping October 7th for a retail price of 130 bucks. These come in semi-impact orange, coral black, and off-white as the color scheme. Very sleek look. Let me know what you guys think about that one. Next, we got the Simpsons Adidas Rivalry High, Scratchy dropping also on October 7th for a retail price of 140 bucks. Gray five, gray one, and cream white is the color scheme. Let me know what you guys think about this silhouette overall, and do you see yourself grabbing this one? Lastly, we have the Simpsons Adidas Rivalry Low Itchy, also dropping on the seventh, but these will retail for 130 bucks. Coming in the color scheme of Supplier Coral, Halo Blue, and Cream White. Let me know if you guys are gonna grab that one. In my opinion of the Itchy and Scratchy Adidas pack, I think I like the Rivalry Low Itchy colorway the most of the three let me know yours in the comment section below next up dropping october 7th for a retail price of 170 is another colorway of the nike air max 2 cb94 and this is the broke brown colorway these right here come in a mix of hemp broke brown sesame coconut milk and mystic red yes indeed it's broke brown b-a-r-o-q-u-e if i'm saying it wrong please correct me in the comment section below but these come in a new buck build with mesh tongues and lining like most of the barclays do broke brown mud guards midfoot and heel overlays i do like this shoe gives it more of an elegant look don't know if i like them enough to add them to my collection but let me know what you guys think. Next up, we got the Paris Gobel Nike Dunk Low retailing for 125 bucks, dropping October 9th. This Dunk Low comes in a very unique color scheme of playful pink, multicolor, bronzine, clear jade, and luminous gray. As you can see, it has a mix of bronzine leather underlays and pink patent overlays. You also have the clear jade leather Nike swooshes that extend and raise to the Nike on the back heel tab. Some other details you can find are the upside down Nike branding on the tongue tag. Paris Gobert's branding on the insoles to add uniqueness to the shoe and it also comes with an aged midsole as we've been having a lot lately. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this in the comments below. Next up we got the Nike Terminator Low Medium Ash dropping October 12th for a retail price of 120 bucks. Definitely a good colorway for the fall. These come in black, medium ash, gum dark, and brown as the color scheme. This shoe comes with a blend of leather, hairy suede, and mesh materials strategically designed with perforations on the toe box for an enhanced breathability. Its black foundation is complemented by the medium ash overlays. I do like this color scheme for the Terminator Low. Not really a fan of this shoe myself, but this colorway is a little bit more acceptable. Let me know if you guys feel like you'll be adding this one to your collection. To make this shoe a little more vibrant, they have the padded tongues featuring the striking red swooshes, as well as the heels and display of the iconic Nike branding as well. Let me know what you guys think overall about the Nike Terminator. Next, we got another classic sneaker dropping on October 12th. This one's retailing for 150 bucks. We got another colorway of the Nike Air Max 1. As you can see, these come in white, black, pure platinum, and medium olive for the color scheme. Like most Air Max ones, these are made up of mesh and suede materials, having a white base with platinum overlays. Then you have black on the swoosh logos and Nike Air Max on the tongue. I do like this color combination, definitely a fall vibe. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section and do you see yourself picking it up? Next up, we got a Nike Dunk Low that a lot of people are looking forward to, dropping October 14th for a retail price of 115 bucks. The Nike Dunk Low Polar coming in the white, polar blue color scheme definitely gives that summertime vibe even though we're in the fall specs for this polar dunk low is the same coming in the full leather build with mesh tongues and lining you have a white base with polar blue overlays on the swoosh inner lining tongue branding and rubber outsole white tongues laces and embroidered branding on the heels this color combination of the polar blue and white is on point 
one to 10, I would have to give this one a solid nine. Let me know if you guys are gonna add this to your collection. Next up, we got the Stone Island New Balance 991 V2 with two release dates, one being October 4th on Stone Island and the second one being October 18th globally, retailing for $200. This collab features olive green, gray, and black using mesh and nubuck for the materials. You find the Stone Mountain Compass logo on the tongue and they do come with special packaging. Let me know if you guys are excited for this 991 V2 in the comments below. New Balance has been in the game for a long time with a lot of quality colorways and collabs and this is definitely one of them next up dropping later this month we have the nike lebron 21 velvet dust retailing for 200 bucks shoe comes in violet dust melon tint and purple camos as the color scheme the velvet upper made of high quality new buck materials with the perforations on the lateral toe for of course ventilation some of the other elements is the melon tint accent swooshes lebron's signature tongue branding bungee eyelids and heel tab both the laces and inner lining sport that violet dust color the heel portion of the midsole showcases a metallic purple color sitting on top of a semi-translucent purple rubber outsole which is something i like i love the translucent outsoles on these lebron 20s and 21s let me know what you guys think about the violet dust colorway and is this the best one so far next up we got another lebron sneaker this is the lebron 21 mellow mellow dropping october 19th for a retail price of 200 bucks melon tint light bone and saturn gold is the color scheme let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway much more different from the purple dust we just talked about there's some unique colorways so far for this lebron 21 i'm curious to see what's down the line of course this mellow mellow colorway is paying homage to the exquisite mellow mellow pearl as you can see this 21 has a leather upper in that melon tint which is definitely different and will be a head turner when you wear these on the court or for casual wear as you can see this has a full leather build but you can also notice the preference that enhance their breathability so you don't have to worry about your feet retaining the heat and your socks being drenched when you take them off after hooping for a couple hours. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway and how does it compare to the first colorway. Next up, we got the Halloween favorite Nike Jaw 1 Zombie dropping October 20th for a retail price of 120 bucks, which is $10 more than a normal retail price. This Jaw 1 showcases a captivating color scheme blending lime blast, oil green, black, and hemp, along with some cacao wild in the color scheme. As I mentioned earlier in the video, all the Jaw Ones come with a mix of synthetic leather and mesh materials. These right here are pretty unique. That Lime Blast is just eye-catching. I was able to get my hands on these a little early and they are better than you see in the pictures. Let me know what you guys think about this Jaw One. As people are referring to this shoe as his Grinch sneaker. Let me know what you guys think and if you grab a pair, are you doing any lace swapping? I think red laces would look just perfect in this shoe. Next up, dropping October 27th for a retail price of 130 bucks is the Nike KD3 Aunt Pearl. This KD3 blends fly wire, leather, and mesh materials in varying tones of pink across the toe box, midfoot panel, and heel. A darker pink shade graces the laces inner lining. The heel pays tribute to Aunt Pearl and the basketball coach K. Yao, who also battled cancer. These are always used for a great cause. I'm glad that he's keeping this series going ever since the early generations of the KD sneaker. Let me know what you guys think about these KD3s in the comments below. Next up, we got a unique collab between Korn and Adidas Campus Double Zeros, dropping October 27th for a retail price of 130 bucks. Adidas Originals and new metal band Korn are set to release the collaborative sneaker and apparel collection in October of 2023. I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like. If you're curious, just continue to watch as you will see some of the collection as well as the two shoes they're using. The sneaker features a black and white color scheme with the band's logo on the tongue. These also come with a guitar pick keychain and art pulled from corn's album life is a peach on the insoles i think the details they added to this is pretty dope the apparel collection includes t-shirts hoodies and track suits all of the pieces feature the band's logo and album artwork. The collaboration is a nod to Korn's early days when the band was known for wearing the Adidas clothing. The second shoe is the Adidas Super Modified, which is also dropping on the 27th for a retail price of 140, coming in the white, black, and white color scheme. Shout out to Korn, they definitely did make some good music back in the day. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about the KD16 Aunt Pearl, also dropping on the 27th of October for a retail price of 170 bucks. This Nike KD16 Aunt Pearl shows showcases a range of captivating pink shades inspired by Aunt Pearl herself. With an engineered mesh upper for breathability, leather overlays for durability, and a cushion zoom infused sole unit for supreme support, 
This KD-16 is definitely one of his best models so far, and the Aunt Pearl colorway is just another one of the fire ones. Let me know if you guys are feeling this. There were two variations, but I believe this is the one that's actually dropping. Is this a cop or a pass for you? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, let's talk about the Nike Dunk Low Red Panda dropping later this October for a retail price of 120 bucks. Coming in the velvet brown, sand drift, rugged orange color scheme, this one is definitely different. I like the materials that they use on this shoe as well. These shoes feature the dark suede under Underlays with leather overlays in lighter shade, perfectly captivating the essence of the Red Panda's distinctive fur. In addition, the elements include the mesh tongue and lining. Retailing for 120 bucks makes me think that the materials on this shoe will be pretty decent. Want to see what these look like in hand. Overall, from a one to 10 scale, I give them a solid seven and a half, eight. Let me know what you guys think, of course, in the comments below. And do you see yourself adding these to your collection? Next up, we got a shoe with no official release date, but something that a lot of people will want. Dropping later in October for a retail price of 120 is the Nike SB Dunk High Sweet Tooth. This one right here is pretty much looking like a candy corn, and I don't know if that's gonna make you like it or not like it. Some people love candy corn, some people hate it. These come in an amarillo, orange, white, and black color scheme. This unique design pays homage to the classic candy corn while incorporating its refreshing twists. The tongue and the shoe features the modified Nike SB branding, cleverly replacing the eye with a graphic representation of a candy corn. I do like that detailed touch to it as well. As you can see, these will have a tri-colored upper, creatively crafted to resemble teeth marks on the toe box. The shoe right here definitely is in the Halloween spirit and has a lot of details to them that I like. The lateral heel showcases a molar tooth adored with pieces of candy. To ensure safety is not overlooked, the inner tongue label has a warning, don't take candy from strangers. I like the fact that they went all in for this Halloween theme. Let me know if you guys like these in the comments below. Next up, let's take a look at the Nike Dunk Mid Halloween dropping later this month for a retail price of 140 bucks. Black, black, smoke gray, and campfire is the color scheme. Legendary figure from the legend of Sleepy Hollow is famous for his jack-o'-lantern head. This is reflected in the pumpkin head insole graphic of the Dunk Mid. The shoe boasts an all black upper crafted with tumbled leather featuring a scaly textured overlay, which I think is really fire. I seen it first on the Air Force One Low, but seeing it on a Dunk Mid, I'm curious to see what these look like in hand. These come with a mesh tongue, smoke gray inner lining. You have a black midsole with a green rubber outsole with a fog pattern to embrace the Halloween vibe. Let me know what you guys think about this Dunk Mid for Halloween and comment your favorite Halloween Dunk to have released. Let me know that in the comments below. And I do know there's a big selection of Halloween themed Nike Dunks, but let me know yours. Next up, we got the Air Force One Halloween, which pretty much has the same makeup as the mid. It's also released around Halloween for a retail price of 145 bucks. Black, smoke gray, campfire orange, and green strike is the color combination. The uppers are made of a mix of tumble leather and quarter panels with snakeskin details. These feature a reptile eye stay, toe, heel, and swoosh overlays. Some of the details include the orange cursive branded tongue labels and metallic silver jack-o'-lantern lace doorlays, which give an extra look for Halloween. The insoles display a chilling forest with swoosh carved pumpkins. I like the details to that too. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these. First up, dropping October 2nd for a retail price of 160 bucks, we got the Air Jordan 13 Gray School Exclusive Purple Venom. This colorway is actually pretty unique. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway in the comments below. These 13s come with a black tumbled leather upper with a suede mud guard and a white midsole. These are a gray school exclusive, but let me know if you guys would have scooped this up if it came in men's sizing. Coming in the purple venom, black and white color scheme, giving me Sacramento Kings vibes. You can't go wrong with this Jordan 13. Overall, give me your opinions. Rated from a one to 10 in the comment section below. Definitely would be a cop if it wasn't men's size. I'm a big fan of the Air Jordan 13, so that might be a biased opinion. Next up on October 3rd for a retail price of 130 bucks, we have yet another colorway of the Jordan Luka 2. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this one. This Jordan Luka 2 comes in a black, bright crimson, wolf gray, and white color scheme. This Jordan 2 has the same specs as all the other ones featuring a blend of new buck, TPU and engineer mesh materials. I like this color combination and so far the Jordan Luka 2 has definitely been impressive when it comes to the colorways and the fit is definitely a true to size fit. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway and everything else about the Jordan Luka 2 in the comment section below. Next up we have official images of the women's exclusive Air Jordan 2 Low Chicago Twist 
dropping October 7th for a retail price of 150 bucks. These come in a white, university red, black, and coconut milk color scheme. These have a white leather upper and the low top silhouette incorporates perforations for enhanced airflow, black accents on the inner lining and heels. I do like the university red that's used on this shoe as well. Definitely giving off a Chicago vibe. Let me know what you guys think about this Jordan 2 overall. And if this came in men's sizes or extended sizes, would you guys add it to your collection? Next up on October 7th for a retail price of 200 bucks, we have updated images of the Air Jordan 6 Aqua, which is definitely impressive even more now. Let me know if you guys like this one originally dropping in 2010. I'm very happy to see this one come back. Black, bright Concord, Aqua Tone is the color scheme for this one. One of the best colorways so far to Jordan 6 in 2023. As you can see, this has a black new buck upper with Concord and Aqua Tone accents on a Jumpman logos, midsole, heel, spoiler, and insoles. And as I always say with the Air Jordan 6, I'm a big fan of that clear translucent outsole. Let me know if you guys are gonna pick up a pair of these in the comments below. Next up on October 13th for a retail price of 140 bucks, we got the Air Jordan 1 Low OG University Red, a Jordan Low OG that I know a lot of people are looking forward to, and I'm happy to see more Air Jordan Low OGs dropping as opposed to just regular Air Jordan. The cut is better, the quality is usually better. Let me know if you guys agree. These come in white, University Red as a color scheme. Of course, this has the white leather upper highlighted with the University Red contracting accents on the swoosh and heel tabs. Red is also on the Nike Air on the tongue, which I do like. This color combination is not bad, and you know that quality is gonna be good. Do you see yourself adding these to your collection? Next, we have updated images of the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low Golf Olive, which drops October 13th for a retail price of 170 bucks. As you can see, these come in neutral olive, black, cell, and light lemon twist as the color scheme. And like most Travis Scotts, these come with a premium blend of nubuck, leather, and mesh materials. This shoe has a neutral olive base, nylon tongues and inner lining you can find white overlays laces heels and midsole adding to the touch of elegance with the overall look notable elements include the lemon twist tongue labels displaying the Jumpman golf logo cactus jack branding along the co-branded heels and insoles of course you like the iconic reverse swoosh this is a golf shoe but will you guys be scooping this up for casual wear let me know your thoughts in the comment section below next up we got updated images of the air jordan one high og mom off, dropping October 14th for a retail price of 180 bucks. This color scheme is not bad at all. White Sky J Moab is the color scheme indeed. I have seen these in the mids as well as the Jordan 1 Lows and they're definitely impressive. If they have really good quality leather on this, this might be a keeper. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway and do you see yourself adding it to your collection. And next up, also dropping October 14th for a retail price of 200 bucks is the Air Jordan 1 Element Gore-Tex in the Sky J Purple colorway. This right here is impressive and me personally, I feel like it's the best colorway of the Jordan 1 Gore-Tex. Let me know if you guys agree with that these come in the sky j purple shimmer honeycomb cell and black color scheme this jordan one comes equipped with waterproof gore-tex lines in the upper constructed in a mix of textile with new book overlays you have the 3m reflective detailing on the nike air logo woven tongue tags and gore-tex stamp lateral heel i like this color scheme like i said before one of the best colorways of the gore-tex so far let me know what you guys rate this from a one to ten and do you see yourself adding this to your collection next up we have a debut colorway of the jordan zion 3 mud sweat and tears dropping october 18th for a retail price of 140 bucks let me know what you guys think about this colorway these come in a unique blend of mint foam concord psychic purple and flash crimson as the color scheme similar to the luca 2 and jordan tatum 1 these also have the Formula 23 foam drop-in midsole and a Zoom air unit in the forefoot. These also come with a semi-translucent mint foam rubber outsole bearing Zion signature branding. Now, there's been a controversy when it comes to translucent outsole and rubber outsoles for hooping. Let me know what you guys think about that. Are you more on the side of translucent outsoles or do you like your outsoles to be rubber? Give me your thoughts about that in the comments below. Also dropping October 18th for a retail price of 180 bucks is the women's exclusive Air Jordan 1 High OG Satin Bread. And we got some exciting news. These will be coming in extended sizes for the men. Are you excited? Well, don't be, it was a joke. Unfortunately, these 
will not be coming in extended sizes and unless you've been sleeping under a rock you knew that i just want to have a little fun with you these come in the classic bread makeup of course instead of having leather it has the full satin build nodding to the classic air jordan flight suit warm-up outfit that he wore back in the day these are very classic the color combination is let me know what you guys think about them overall and rate them from a 1 to 10 in the comments below next up dropping october 20th for a retail price of 120 bucks we got the jordan tatum one wave run these come in a head turning color combination of lagoon pulse pink glass psychic purple white lime glow and black as the color scheme let me know if you guys are a fan of the tatum ones and what do you think about this wave runner as you may know these showcase an engineer mesh base complemented by a lightweight tpu frame featuring an uncaged air zoom bag unit in the forefoot i do like this colorway and a lot of the tatum ones overall i think it's a success let me know what you guys think about this colorway and the tatum ones overall next up dropping october 24th for a retail price of 160 bucks we got the chris paul air jordan one low og give them their flowers this one right here is definitely dope looks elegant and upscale these feature a light cream and cell color combination that pays homage to chris paul's admiration for jordan's iconic low top design i like this shoe the details and the premium materials used is definitely on point by far one of chris paul's best jordan shoes in my opinion and i do love that floral pattern upper let me know what you guys think about these and do you see yourself picking up this air jordan one low og i do feel like there will be a little buzz around this shoe so if you do want it you might have to put in the extra work to grab a pair but let me know if you guys will be grabbing them or not then a few days later on the 25th for a retail price of 170 we got the air jordan one low 85 neutral gray a lot of people have been looking forward to this colorway as well especially for the 85 low let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway or not these come in summit white light smoke gray neutral gray and sell as a color scheme this rendition of the air jordan one low pays homage to peter moore's original 85 blueprint this features a white upper with neutral gray suede swooshes and heels a sail midsole with the neutral gray rubber outsole let me know if you guys are a fan of this og 85 that's coming out and do you see yourself adding it to the collection rounding off the month of october on the 28th for a retail price of 210 bucks we got the air jordan 12 cherry now this one is definitely classic one of the releases of the month in my opinions especially for air jordan retros very classic shoe do you see yourself grabbing this or is it an easy pass yet another one of those bangers that mj wore during his fifth championship season the cherry edition of the air jordan 12 comes in the white black and varsity red color scheme as it always does white leather upper with the red textured mud guards you can't go wrong with that the leather quality on the upper is going to be on point as well very classic shoe i do see myself grabbing a pair how about you let me know in the comments now i need your help it's your time to fill me in there's a lot of heat dropping in october from casual shoes to basketball shoes to air jordan retros let me know what are some of the top releases for october in the comment section below what are something that you need what are something that you're just passing on of course give me your thoughts and opinions in the comments below once again hit the like button share the video subscribe if you're new it's your boy bosco i'll see you in the next video deuces